I'd like to introduce the finale, um, Allegro Appassionato, to the Karl Reinecke Sonata in E minor, Opus 167. This finale is um, full of passion, fire and brimstone, fury, betrayal, heartache, oh, everything, every emotion you could imagine. Um, it's the conclusion to Undine. Undine means little wave. Um, and Hulbrand's love story, which has been going for the previous movements, where Undine, who wants a soul and to become immortal, um, falls in love with a human, and that will gain her immortality and a soul. And she falls in love with Hulbrand. They get married, and you know a few things happen happen in the novel, but they get married. But um, Hulbrand falls in love also with Beltalda, and. Um, she is a human, and this fourth movement is an amazing, amazing conclusion because Ondine finds out that he's married uh, another woman, a human. And so she has no alternative but to kill him with this outcome, and she is just so full of passion. It says a passionato. She's just so full of passion and heartache and fury. It's all through the movement. It's the most amazingly fantastic. That's why I wanted to introduce it. It's the most amazingly fantastic movement. It has every colour under the sun from melding with the water. The piano is the water and the flute and the piano meld together to depict uh, Undine just swirling around in the water and swirling up in fury often right to the height of the phrase and you can get right under the phrase and push it, push it up to the top to the conclusion which is just, oh, so heartbreaking. You know, the only way you can find, or the, the best way to find the colour um, that's required in the ending is through empathy, feeling how heartbroken she is from having to kill um, Hulbrand, you know, and the, the death kiss is amazing. So just, just before the conclusion, you can listen for it, you'll hear it, the death kiss where she Boom, does it and then there's a little um, leave off where she realizes you know that it's that the love is over and it's all concluding and the beautiful melody in the end the conclusion is from is the love theme from the second movement but this time it's not full of warmth and romance and hope this is the beautiful theme which requires a beautiful tone but with an emptiness um, so I found empathy uh, for Undine in getting that concluding colour and it was an amazing feeling uh, having empathy for the subject matter. And I think that's why I wanted to introduce this fourth movement because it's all about telling a story and engaging with colour and tone and depicting um, characters that was really important for me and I think it helps to have the introduction um, to the movement and also I timed this with the release of the album which is the complete uh, flute sonata Undine um, so it's being released today on all digital channels and I hope you enjoy listening <laughs>
Thank you.